Now for this last part, we've basically got to solve a differential equation. We've got the equation 75 dh over dt equals 4 minus 5h, and we're told that when t equals 0, h is 0 0.2, and we've got to find the value of t when h is 0 0.5. Now to do something like this, what we've got to do is separate the variables. In other words, get all the H's on one side and all the T's on the other side. So if I was to, say, divide both sides by 4 minus 5H and kind of multiply by both sides by DT, then I'm going to get 75, that we'll put there for, 75 over... 4 minus 5h dh equals dt. But I must now integrate both sides. So if I slip an integral around each side like that, I've now separated the variables. Now all we need to do is try and integrate both sides of our equation here. Now for something like this, this is a natural log type because I can see that when I differentiate the denominator, I get minus 5. And although I have to multiply minus 5 by minus 15 to get 75, it becomes what we call a natural log type. I'll show you. Look, we can rewrite this as minus 15 multiplied by minus 5 all over 4 minus 5h. And that's integrated with respect to h. And on this side, we'll just say we've got the integral of essentially 1 with respect to t. But for this integral, minus 15 times minus 5 then is the 75. So it's still exactly the same. But when I differentiate the bottom, I get minus 5, and that is in the numerator here. And whenever you get this situation where you've got f of x on, in the denominator, and if you differentiate it, you've got the differential of it in the numerator, then, as I say, it's the natural log of the denominator. Minus 15, then, natural log of 4 minus 5h. And we best put that in mod signs, okay? Now, on the other side, if we integrate 1 with respect to t, we just get t. And we need a constant of integration. There'll be a constant from this side, there'll be a constant from this side, but if I take this constant and group it with the constant over here, I'm going to get just one constant, which I'll call c. Okay? Now, I need to work out what this constant c is. And to do that, I use these conditions. I know that when t equals 0, h equals 0.2. So on that basis, if I substitute it into here, I therefore have minus 15 multiplied by the natural log of 4 minus 5 times 0 0.2. We'll put it in anyway, 4 minus 5 multiplied by 0 0.2. Okay, and that equals naught plus c, so in other words, just c. Now, 4 minus 5 times 0.2 is in fact going to come to 3. So we end up with c equaling minus 15 multiplied by the natural log of 3. And because this is a positive value, I don't need mods anymore. Okay, so now that I've got what c is, I can substitute this value back into our equation here. So if we just copy this out, we've got therefore minus 15 natural log of 4 minus 5h, okay, equals t plus the constant of integration, which we've seen is minus 15 natural log 3. Now I need to group the logs together. So if I add 15 times the natural log of 3 to both sides and pull out 15 as a common factor, I would therefore have t equals 15 then, and we'll write this one first, 15 times the natural log okay, of 3 minus the natural log 
of the mod of 4 minus 5h. Now when you have two logs that are subtracted from one another, you can divide. So this is exactly the same as 15 times the natural log of 3 over 4 minus 5h. And we'll put that in a mod sign, OK? Now you didn't have to do that step. You could easily just leave it as it is at that point if you want. Because now we're in a position, whether it's this step or this step, to just find t when h equals 0.5. So when h equals 0.5, if we substitute into this one here, we therefore have t equals 15 times the natural log of 3 over 4 minus 5 times 0.5. OK, we'll put a mod there just in case it came out negative. Let's see what we get. Well, 5, my, five times 0.5, that's going to be 2.5. 4 minus 2.5 gives us 1.5. 3 divided by 1.5 goes in twice. So this is 15 times the natural log of 2. And because we've got a positive value here, we don't really need the mod sign around it. So there's your exact answer. If you decided to use your calculator and work this out, you would find you get 10.397 and so on. And if we round this, say, to three significant figures, then it's going to be 10.4, and it will be the time will be in minutes, and I'll just put three significant figures here, 3SF for short. OK, so a typical differential equation to solve, where we separate the variables, integrate both sides, and work out what our constant is, and then once we've done that, we can then figure out exactly the value that we want here. Okay?